good morning. Welcome for a new edition of our show titled Speak of Africa. We thank you very much for watching this show. We are noticing that our numbers of subscribers and viewers is increasing. We thank you for this results and we are happy because this is what this show is about. When we created this show, we wanted you to know that this show is your voice. We wanted to give a voice to those who are not heard. We wanted to give a voice to African people who are invisible all over the world. That's what this show is, is about. For so long, we noticed that YouTube keeps uh, slowing us down, but we're looking at that like a temporary problem. We started this show because we wanted to give a voice to people who normally are not seen, and people who are invisible. So you cannot afford to be invisible anymore. So we want to speak for you, and we're doing that effectively. In fact, when we started this show, I remember we started the show in January, January 5th, 2018. At the time, we started with the Anglophone crisis in Cameroon, La Republic du Cameroon. When we started this show, the problem was not well known, but with the effort that we've made and with the collaboration of activists all over the world, now everybody knows that there is a crisis in Anglophone Cameroon, which has already morphed into a war. Today, we want to just take you back to see what we have predicted many, many months ago. What started as a simple protest has developed into a full-blown civil war. Brother is killing brother, sister is killing sister. We predicted many months ago that this is going to happen if the problem is not resolved quickly by a wise man. We used to think that Mr. Paul Beer was a wise man, but this anglophone issue has really shown that this individual is dull. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't really understand how to deal with problems. Even as a grandfather, he should have been able to handle the protests of Anglophones in the Northwest and Southwest regions. But he has allowed the problem to escalate and get into magnificent proportions, which are just so big. Today, we just want to give you a follow-up, a flashback. Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. Vietnam, Americans talk about Vietnam a lot. Why? Because Vietnam really became a syndrome. They talk about the Vietnam syndrome. The Vietnam syndrome basically is the American hesitation about war. They are first time believe that they were really ineffective. The crisis of self-confidence. This is a war that really shook America's confidence. Similarly, the Ambazonia war is also sh shaking the confidence of Mr. Paul Beer. For so long, Mr. Paul Bia has been perceiving himself to be a medieval king who has a right to rule Cameroon forever with his wife who perceives herself to be a co-president. We understand he calls the wife Madame President, which means Madame President. That's fine. The co-presidency is going on, but Anglophones think that it's time for them to make a U-turn and take their freedom into their own hands. The war that he declared against the English-speaking people of Cameroon is an unjust war. As a result, God is not on his side. God is punishing him, okay? This is an old man of over 86 years old. He should have been enjoying his retirement. But today, he's dealing with a crisis of war, okay? Similarly, the Vietnam War was hidden from the American people. They did not really know what was happening. Actually, the war started in Vietnam as a result of the Vietnamese people's disenchantment with French colonialism. They wanted to throw off the yoke of French colonialism. And at the time, you have to understand the climate. This was the time of the Cold War, okay? The Cold War era. The Cold War between the United States of America and the Soviet Union. So the Americans were dragged into this war reluctantly because they wanted to assist the French. They were thinking that by getting to this war, this would be a bulwark against more countries in East Asia falling into communist hands. So when they got in, the weak French eventually had to withdraw. And now America took the burden of fighting the war alone. Okay? The Vietnamese had, especially the North Vietnamese, they had a lot of help from Russia, North Korea, and other countries that were supporting them. Okay? Finally, America had to come to its senses. 
with all the technology, they could not only win the war, they was bomb bombing every day. In fact, at the time, CBS was the channel, the news channel that was really bringing this war to American homes. Nixon fought against it, JFK fought against this, but eventually JFK had even to withdraw his candidature as a presidential candidate because he just saw that the war was so unpopular. Similarly, the war in Cameroon has been very unpopular, okay? Mr. Bia does not want to accept this, but as we have been reporting, we will be sharing a lot of information on what is going on on the ground. Military technology does not win the war. Even the Americans today have realized that Mr. Bia is ex exploiting the resources that they've given to him to fight Boko Haram to kill Anglophones in Amazonia. Now they have realized that they cannot support Mr. Bia anymore. So Americans have decided now to start withdrawing their troops from Cameroon because they realize that they're not helping the wrong horse. Okay? This individual is taking the resources that were meant to fight Boko Haram to kill Anglophones. When you look at the pictures, every day is a killing spree, burning of villages. Initially, Mr. Bia used to say his soldiers were not really killing these people. They were the terrorists that were committing this act. But Mr. Bia forgets that we are living in a modern era. America has satellites to see for, for herself that his government was sending people, soldiers to kill innocent people in Anglophone, Cameroon. $250 to $6,000. Quick tax refund advance made easy. It's tax season 2019. The Christmas and New Year holidays are over. Everybody's talking about the PJ Tax Service, the new kid in town on H&R Block's Block. Why? Money, money, money. Spread the good news. Quick tax refund advances here. It's big, bigger than ever. Put big money in your pocket fast. PJ Tax Service. Nobody gets your tax money back faster. Instantly, quickly, and immediately. Three tax refund disbursement choices for you in less than 24 hours. Visa e-card, paper check, and direct deposit. Get your money back without delays. PG Tax Service has your back. It is your money, so get it now. PG Tax Service. You like the way we do your taxes. PJ Tax Service. You feel like a lottery or a sweepstake winner. Act now. Call 301-593-4879 or 301-593-4897. Or come to our office, 11207A, Lockwood Drive, Silver Spring, Maryland, 20901. Or you can visit us online, www.pjtaxservice.com. Time, a few weeks ago, the Under Secretary, the U.S. Under Secretary for Africa, Mr. Nagi, went to Cameroon to present the four options to Mr. Bia. Finally, this war is not working. We've given you so many years to resolve this problem. You are not resolving it, so it's time for you to go. So we're presenting you with the following options. Most people are saying that they don't even know what Mr. Nagi discussed with Mr. Bia. But we've already gleaned this information for you, so you don't even need to worry. The UN is also putting the pressure. So Mr. Paul Bia has been cornered. It's just like an animal that has been pushed to the corner. It doesn't have anywhere else to go. So they are ready now for the kill. And I can tell you, America is going to come in now with a decapitation strike. Mm -hmm. they, they have points that they're going to strike and they'll bring this government to its knees. So it's up to Mr. Bia to look at the various options and choose what is favorable to him. One, option number one is to do what the international community has been telling him to do and he has been resistant and stubborn and he doesn't want to do it. Meaningful dialogue is a solution to the war in Cameroon. Meaningful dialogue means that Cameroonians need to sit at a table together to discuss the form of the state. Mr. Paul Bia would have no choice to make peace with the people he called terrorists. You don't make peace with your friends. All of us know this from studying history. War is not good. In fact, we've read so much about war, you look at someone like Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms. This is a book talk about war. For Whom the Bell Tolls. This is a book talk about war. Stephen Crane, The Red Badge of Courage. This is another book talk about war. So we know so much about the, the ugliness of war that we really want to avoid it. 
But it seems as if somebody like Mr. Paul Bia does not really understand that war is nasty. War is not good. So people now want peace because so many people are dying. So if Mr. Paul Bia is not prepared to make peace, so they just need to bring somebody else who can make peace so that the world can move on. Already, this crisis, which has become a full-scale civil war, is costing a lot of lives every day. The international community cannot sit idle and watch Bia slaughter all these people. So Bia now has become as the modern Adolf Hitler. We used to think that after Germany, Nazi Germany, there will be no more genocide. But today, the modern world is experiencing genocide in broad daylight. American satellites are picking up all these images every day. So who is Mr. Paul Bia fooling? He's fooling by himself because he doesn't know that in the modern world, whatever he's doing on the ground is seen everywhere. There's a camera looking at everything that he's doing. That's what satellites do. And these satellites are picking up all the actions. Okay? So even when he refuses, I did not do this. When Mr. Nagi went to the presidential palace in Etudi Yaoundé, he presented Mr. Bia with all these facts. You cannot argue with facts because they are there. They, are, they speak for themselves. So you cannot sit and be lying that, oh no, we're not killing people. No. These people are not soldiers because soldiers should really be professional. These people are not professional because they go from village to village, they burn the villages, they burn the houses. So where do you want the people to go? You're making life too miserable for these people. You are not only killing them, but you are burning all their homes, their, their means of livelihood. You go to their shops, you burn the shops. Is this the kind of stuff soldiers do? No. Soldiers are very professional. The purpose of soldiers is to pre prevent looting so that people can live in peace. But Mr. Bia's soldiers are actually thugs. And we think with much of the information that we're gathering, we have a big fire that we'll have to take to the International Criminal Court. Most of these individuals will have to be tried and they will have to answer for their crimes. Already, there are 27 personalities, including Atanga G, Betty Asomo, who are also backing these people, even uh, Rene Meka, all these people. They are really the architects of this war. They are the main profiteers of this war. They don't want to, the war to end. Even though the world wants this war to end, these 27 personalities are actually the architects of Bia's war machine. And they keep fueling it every day. People are dying and they are making money every day. This is wrong. Okay? These are people who don't even read the Bible. The Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. But these individuals do not live by the Bible. Okay? They live by the devil. And these are. Uh, devils are uh, walking, sons of Lucifer, sons of Satan, okay? These people are just like Hitler's uh, brothers. Hey, yo, Shape, I thought you was going to take me to this place so I could get my taxes done. You know I'm trying to buy a new house. What's up? Let's get it on. If you're searching for a house, call up my man Prince O'Jone, the best in real estate. Take it from your guy's shape. When I say his services are the best in the states, where he's born, he even take care of your tax forms, fat refunds. So come, get your business done. Consultations, financial organization, fast processing, no waiting. This man is amazing, the Prince. Now and call Prince Ojong at 240-350-1131. That's 240-350-1131. Uh, when we think that there should be no more genocide, when it happened in Rwanda, it was like, oh, never again. But it's happening again in Cameroon. So we really thank all the bloggers, all the activists who have been working hard Unfortunately for the poor Cameroonians, they don't really have televisions to really televise what is happening to them. But God brought the comforter. The comforter now is President Donald J. Trump. He is really ready to take out Mr. Paul Bia. So Mr. Bia has received a warning. If he thinks the Americans are joking, the bombs will start falling very, very soon. Let me let him know this. Saddam Hussein used to think it was a joke until the bombs started falling. Look at Gaddafi. Gaddafi also thought it was a joke <laughs> until the bombs started falling. Look at Mobutu. Mobutu also thought it was a joke until the bombs started falling. Look at Hissena Abre. He thought he was untouchable 
until they drag him to the International Criminal Court. So I think it's time now for us to start preparing a case against Mr. Paul Bia. Mr. Mr. Paul Bia needs to end his last days at the International Criminal Court to face trial for his claim. He's creating a lot of suffering for many people in Kondengi. We think the first place they need to take him is Kondengi so that he can experience a little bit of the medicine he has been giving other people. Let him see what it's like to live in the squalor of Kondengi. You have a lot of people who have been arrested for fake crimes. They will tell you, oh, he's been arrested because he embezzled money. Come on, who are you fooling? These people are in there because Mr. Paul Bia does not want competitors. He feels he has to be president for life, and his wife has to remain as the co-president, Madam President, Madam President, Madam President, my last. So, so we look at this individual as a very useless individual who doesn't really understand that we live in a modern world. You cannot keep making Cameroon a banana republic. You look at the kind of deal he struck with the useless Buhari government. They took people who were refugees in Nigeria and brought to Cameroon. And today we can tell you that it's creating a big problem because even a Nigerian court has already ruled against this repatriation. Okay? This forceful repatriation of refugees from Nigeria to Cameroon. So the court is saying that the Buhari government has to bring President Sisiku and his companion back to Nigeria because this removal was illegal. It, it's illegal because it's against the Nigerian constitution, the Nigerian law. But will Mr. Buhari do the right thing? That's going to be the big test because we know Mr. Femi Falana is really doing a lot. He has given them an ultimatum. Nigeria has two weeks to bring these individuals back to Nigeria. If they don't do this, he's going to file a case in the international court against the government of Nigeria, the, the Buhari government. So it is now for us to see whether the Buhari government will, will stay as a banana republic or he will try to follow the rule of law. So this challenge is going to expose the weaknesses of the Buhari government that we've been telling you for a very long time. Because Nigeria has a legal precedent. Before an individual was forcefully expelled to Chad, okay, and there were motions that were appealed, and this individual was returned to Nigeria. But will Mr. Buhari follow this precedent and do the right thing in the court of law? We know this individual doesn't believe in the rule of law, but the international community is watching him. He has won a second term. He's happy for winning the second term, and we salute him, but it's going to be a big test because winning the second term is not going to be easy. Most presidents know that second terms are always tough, and he's going to be dealing with a lot of these thorny legal issues because Femi Falana is a very, very good uh, uh, human rights lawyer, and we know he's going to follow this through. So if Mr. Buhari thinks Mr. Femi Falana is joking, he's really smoking something. He's really sleeping. So he needs to wake up because Femi Falana is already making all the legal moves. He knows the international war machinery, and he understands how the international community operates. So Mr. Buhari is dealing with an individual who is a fine lawyer who knows what he's doing. We really feel sorry for him to be trying to work against Mr. Femi Falana. But we're really happy with what Mr. Femi Falana is doing because he's really championing the cause for the people who are downtrodden. He's really fighting for the little people. Life insurance money secrets of millionaires and billionaires exposed. Discover how America's rich and famous exploit these arcane tools to build fabulous wealth. Why should these big white guys have all the fun? Let Prince Ojong, the celebrity author of The Miraculous Millionaire, show you the little understood life insurance way to riches. Are you still doubting the good things that life insurance can do for you? Trust strategies, estate planning, 401k rollover, annuity contract, cash value, education funding, executive benefits, income protection, life protection, living benefits, mortgage protection, tax-free retirement? Think and grow rich with life insurance. Your amazing journey to wealth begins by calling Prince Ojong at 240-350-1131. Similarly, we're also fighting for the little people who want to give them a voice. 
We are fighting for those people who are dying every day. And in fact, sometimes when you watch the videos from Cameroon, they make you sick. Social media is always covering these videos. We are always sick when we watch these videos because sometimes you even watch Cameroonian soldiers. I call them thugs. I don't even call them soldiers anymore because they are not soldiers. They are not professional. They kill innocent people. And the world knows this today. When we started, we were telling you that this is what these soldiers were doing. People thought it was a lie. But now you can see for yourself that these soldiers are not professional. They are thugs. They are beside Paul Bia's thugs. The other day, they killed an activist in Libyalem, General Ake, Ayeke. And they were jubilating. Oh, they've killed this individual. Why do you jubilate when you kill people? So it's like they kill people for their own sport. So this has to end. And which is why we are really happy with the motions now going on in the international community to bring Mr. Paul Bia to account. So it's really good. So we're watching to see further developments. But we know that the UN is already working behind the scenes to force Mr. Bia to come to the negotiating table. They've expected him to do this on his own, but they've realized that after more than two years, he's not going to do it. So they have to force him to do it. <laughs> if he thinks he's a powerful individual, they are clipping his wings. Already, he has lost over 17 million in military aid from the United States. The losses are going to be more catastrophic because already the, the U.S. government has targeted him and they are watching. So they are, they've given him a timetable. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see Mr. Bia try to play games by coming up with uh, a fake decentralization. Okay, Cameroon now will have a decentralized form of government. Why has it taken more than 25 years for decentralization to take place in this part of the world. What is so difficult about a small country to have a decentralized government? In fact, even Mr. Nagy was raising a lot of questions. He has lived in Cameroon and he has worked for the U.S. Embassy. Why is it that in the Northwest province where English is spoken, they have to be imposed a French governor? Why? Why can they not have a governor chosen among them? Because Mr. Bia wants to control everything, wants to take all their resources. So, now I think it's really game over. So we're telling you now that, just like Vietnam, there is a limit to technology. America, with all its might, lost the Vietnam War. Mr. Bia, with all the weapons he received from the Americans and the Europeans, is losing the Ambazonia War. He may be thinking that he's winning, but finally, you can win many battles, but you're going to still lose the war. And that's what is happening. The soldiers can kill many people, but they are still losing the war. Because the war is won in public minds. It's not based on the number of people you kill. If it were based on the number of people killed, then the Americans would have won the Vietnamese war. Because the Americans were killing a lot of people, they were bombing everywhere. But the people had an indomitable spirit. Okay? You cannot quench this willingness for the people who want to be free. The people want to be free and they are fighting for their freedom. So the more you kill them, the more new activists and fighters came forward. So these were like Spartans who died but never surrendered. And that's what is happening today in Anglophone Cameroon. This has become Mr. Bia's Vietnam. Today we have what I call the Ambassonia Syndrome. For the first time, Mr. Bia is realizing that the people he thought he could send soldiers to kill and stop their protest in two days, He's not been able to keep them, put them down. For over two years now, the people are still dying and fighting. They are dying, but they are rising again and fighting. Today, I even saw images of uh, voodoo. The, so the soldiers were looking at pictures of uh, voodoo put in different places of, of, of the street. Even like in Bafut, I saw a wall, a wall that was built to prevent soldiers from driving into their uh, towns. They were blocked. Then you had places where they put um, effigies in the form of magic. So now the war in Cameroon is no longer just a physical war. It has become a metaphysical enterprise. So we are urging all our viewers to call their congressmen, to call their senators, and mention the word Ambazonia. Ambazonia, Ambazonia. Ambazonia must be free. So tell your senators about the problem in Ambazonia. Let your senator know about it. Because once they know about it, they will put more pressure on Mr. Paul Bia. We thank you very much for watching this show. I will ask you that we will be bringing you more shows. Soon we will have our own servers. We will not be depending on YouTube. 
so that we'll be able to broadcast our message directly to you. And you can share it with all your friends. We'll even mimic the YouTube channel. We'll create our own YouTube so that we'll take this information directly to you. You can upload your videos. We will not censor you. Whatever you upload is yours. And we'll share it as much as we can. So we're telling you, go and tell your friends to subscribe to our show. Share the videos. Okay? You can sh you do whatever you want to do with our videos. Take them out. Show them to all your friends. Let them watch what is happening in Amazonia. Amazonia has become Mr. Paul Bia's Vietnam. Mr. Paul Bia today is suffering the Vietnam Syndrome. Vietnam Syndrome. Now we can talk about the Amazonia Syndrome. Thank you very much for watching the show. Bye-bye. Selling a service or a product? Need buyers? Use the African Nation TV as a channel to reach many viewers. Act now and call Prince Ojong at 240-350-1131. That's 240-350-1131. Act today.